In this house, you'll expect a jump scare around every corner. After experiencing paranormal events in his family home, this man decided to take some video to see if he could capture anything on camera. Let's take the haunted tour. What is happening here? He finds a flower on the stairs. He claims no one in the household knows where it came from. Is this knock a warning? As the YouTuber believes? Well, upstairs in the bedroom, it happens again. Something just threw the clothes from the wardrobe. If those knocks were a warning, I'd take the clothes as a clear message. This ghost wants you to leave. An unidentified aerial phenomena, also known as a UAP, was captured at Dreamland in Dripping Springs, Texas, and shared by Redditor My Brian on Acid. Recording the alien spaceship. It's like not moving at all. The uploader says another source reported on this same sighting. And it's like way higher than the planes that just flew by. It's like further away. It's not moving at all. The post the Redditor is referring to was captured by someone walking their dog, who believed the UAP to be a planet, but once they looked at it through their binoculars, they noticed a dark center and a haze around the object. In the comments, Redditor Cronin Siglos appeared to crack the code, writing that it's a high-altitude balloon called an HBAL-604. After seeing one of these, I have to agree. And it's like way higher than the planes that just flew by. It's like further away, it's not moving at all. What would you do if you saw this floating over your neighborhood? Shared by YouTuber EXTV, this video is trending in the Brazilian-speaking YouTube community. It looks like a scene straight out of Netflix's Stranger Things. In fact, it is. But it's not what it seems. When I dug into its origins, I found the freaky floating figure featured on CBS Chicago's news channel. But how did they get her to float? The TikToker, at Horror Props, who's responsible for the epic Halloween display, just shared how they did it only days ago. It appears to be a wire connected to a telephone pole. Well, I gotta say, that is certainly a crafty way to pull off something like this. Nevertheless, if I saw this while walking down the street, I would still be terrified. An encounter with a mysterious, pale figure in the forest. What could go wrong? Published by F2 Fun Facts YT. This cameraman arrives at a cement well that may be home to a madman. Peering down into it, he only sees darkness, but then he pulls back and casts the camera over his surroundings. In a corner near another cement structure, a pale figure is crouched. The figure looks human but keeps very still. That is, until it suddenly springs up, turns around and launches at the cameraman. Its movements are incredibly agile, almost superhuman, and its skin is inhumanely pale. 
does it live in the well? Needless to say, the cameraman flees, leaving us to wonder if the creature was human or something else. YouTube Team Extinct File explores an abandoned mansion where they're tormented by ghost children. Inside the dark and dreary place, they find this unsettling picnic. They turn toward another room and a moment later see this. Ay, Dios. No mames. After a while, they hear some barking in the distance and then something much closer. Todo esto es de mármol, güey. As they head upstairs to investigate, this happens. Later, they try to communicate with the ghost children. Que se quiera comunicar con nosotros. This is what they saw. Hijo de la... Did you see it too? I'm pretty certain that was a ghost child, and if it was, the crew had better watch their backs. Dan Sutherland has a very nondescript closet in his room with a plain looking wooden door. For some reason, his baby girl Lily has taken an extreme interest in the closet lately, and he thinks he might know why. Never mind you. There's a closet. She don't know what's up there. There we go. Watch. What you'll see over there. There's absolutely nothing about the outside of the closet that should attract Lily's attention for a single second, but her gaze seems utterly transfixed at times. There is, however, something inside that she might be interested in though she should have no idea of its presence or its implications. As it turns out, Lily's grandmother recently passed away, and inside of that closet is the very same shirt her grandma was wearing on that day, along with some other personal belongings. What's even more strange is that Dan recently moved them into the closet on the day before Mother's Day. Prior to this, Lily had never really taken notice of the closet much before. Now Dan is wondering if Lily is detecting her grandma's presence, and quite honestly, so am I. If you can think of any reason for Dan's daughter to look over at that ordinary looking closet with such a pleased expression on her face for so long, then please let me know. I personally have no idea what could be holding her attention like that, except for her grandmother's comforting presence. Have you ever watched a clip that terrified you so much that you just had to share it with a friend? That's definitely the case for this video, posted to YouTube by Mysterious Things in February of 2020. The footage purports to show an unknown flying object flying in broad daylight above Quebec City. From far away, the figure in the sky appears to be dressed in white and launching upward. Upon closer unfocused and wavering inspection, the unknown flying object does indeed look like a human figure dressed in white. At times its clothing shines luminescent, while the figure spins launching into the sky. When the camera gets in closer and more focused, the figure looks even more dramatic. It appears to be on fire. If that's not in fact Iron Man, as YouTuber Graham Sherwood suggests in the comments, perhaps it could be a meteor headed towards Earth. While other commenters say this is impressive and looks legit, YouTuber Damien Torres is more skeptical, suggesting it looks like silver helium balloons with the sun reflecting off of it. What do you think? Is this just a mistaken balloon? Or do you think this unknown flying object is worthy of some supernatural speculation? Whatever it is, it's terrifying. Police arrive to find a mother of two is seeing things on the roof while holding her two children. 
She doesn't believe a word anyone has to say and thinks everyone is out to get her. Now it's up to them to bring everybody down safely. They climb onto the narrow ledge and there is barely enough room for a grown man to stand. She is in such an anxious, delusional state that not even a legitimate badge and uniform are enough to convince her. My analysis of this part is that she thinks that he is putting away his badge too quickly, which in her mind means it must be fake. Eventually, she thinks he is real, but then she thinks his partner is an imposter. She reads his name tag out loud and freaks out. No, no, yeah. who are you? Point blank? Point blank? Body adventure? No, point blank! I think his name is Blaine Point or something like that, but I can't figure out what the significance is to her. Also, it sounds like she calls him a body avenger, whatever that means. At this point, she is so frantic that she might lose her balance. So the cops have to grab the kids by the arm and get into a terrifying tug of war. The poor kid has an adult pulling on each arm. The situation is probably horrifying for them. Eventually, the police win and round the children up, who sadly probably won't be seeing their mother again until well into their teenage years, if ever. A child is quietly doing homework at the living room coffee table, but something in the room doesn't want to keep the peace. This creepy clip was published by Adit and Anika in May of 2021. According to the video's timestamp, the footage was originally captured nearly two decades ago at around 1.40 p.m. on April 13, 2000. 2001, a child is writing, a cupboard door on the entertainment center flies open. The little girl doesn't seem too rattled by it. Perhaps she is used to strange poltergeist activity in her home. She walks calmly over to shut it and sits back down to her homework, but the energy in the room isn't done harassing her. Two of the doors pop open simultaneously. One of them closes on its own, while the girl closes the other. Again, she doesn't appear surprised by the incident and studiously heads back over to return to her work. That's when the poltergeist decides to shock her once and for all. The coffee table moves on its own, rolling across the floor. At this, the girl screams and races out of the room. For the ghost, mission accomplished. At least, she'll have a real excuse for not finishing her homework. This footage comes from India, where a woman is seen cleaning up at a sink. Suddenly, a dark figure appears behind her and gives her a hard shove from behind. She turns around only to find the room empty and hurries away. A YouTuber named James Matthews recorded this video somewhere in the UK after he kept hearing this noise over and over again one day with no reasonable explanation. It sounds to me like it could be some rusty piece of machinery, but James lives in the quiet countryside and no farming equipment is big enough to sound like that. The noise seems to take up the entire sky. Gary restaurant video was captured in a bar in Singapore late at night. First, a stool falls over, which I guess could just be a string, but their reaction seems realistic as they all question how this could happen. The entire time, none of them realize that they are being watched by the faint outline of a woman who does not move or make a noise. Maybe it's just me, but it almost looks like this woman's feet are off the ground and she is suspended in the air. Num in this scary video, Ghost Adventures of Cornwall receives some haunting EVPs from the devil. The first EVP is cryptic. The second set of EVPs don't sound to me quite what the team is hearing, particularly the name Mark, which is one of the crew members' names. I can distinguish found something and they're aliens from the EVP, but I think they're a stretch. 
The last EVP, however, is chilling. Devil. What? Don't say the devil will play it. Do you think the devil is playing? I personally wouldn't run the risk of playing this game. World famous athlete Lionel Messi was the world's highest paid soccer player for six years straight. And before I get flooded with comments, let's all acknowledge the sport is called football everywhere else in the world besides North America. But Messi also has another distinction, being one of the only soccer players to have a paranormal moment caught on live television. He is doing an interview from home when this mysterious figure is seen in the window. This could be someone from the media, but there's only one problem. This seems to be an interview done over the computer, meaning no need for a television crew here. Messi doesn't seem phased by the figure, so it might have been a family member or a friend in the room with him. With that said, the way they stand still is a statue the whole time. Has people wondering if this was a real ghost sighting video or not. If this were paranormal, I think he would have turned around. But unless he addresses the video, I guess we won't know for sure. This YouTuber is exploring the Talakar Abbey in Wales when he notices a strange animal face in the stone. It's hard to see at first, but you can make out the face of a pig here. This prompts him and his group to examine the area more closely. Eventually discovering a series of even more startling finds, they soon realize that this is not a natural rock formation, but rather some kind of ritualistic stone altar from ancient times past. This smooth surface was probably used for some sort of human and animal offerings. Proper seat on it, little church thing there. Finally, he zooms in on the clawed feet of the altar, and the video ends shortly thereafter. It's hard to say whether this is some kind of stage prop, or if they really did stumble across a hidden evil deep within an old cave. The friends seem more curious than scared, which is a strange reaction, but then again if I was there, I probably wouldn't know what to think either. Overall, I'd say this video has a good chance of being real, but I would like to get some other opinions. A TikToker called What Up Craig records something in his home that only his dog can sense, something invisible that might be standing at the doorway. <laughs> It's not someone hiding off camera because the dog looks down one hallway and then it gets up to look down the other, growling all the while. Whatever it's looking at couldn't have crossed the hall without being seen by the camera. At one point, the dog starts making small head movements as it tracks something flying around, and whatever it is seems to come inside of the room at one point. Whether this really is a spirit or just a bug is what I'm trying to figure out, as What Up Craig seems to have firmly made up his mind, and I'm looking to do the same. What's going on? Abnormal Alabama is all about discussing the weirdest and scariest things imaginable, and this is probably one of their most frightening videos. These creepy dolls are said to be possessed by something paranormal according to their owner, Kevin Kane, the man in the white shirt, and they aren't afraid to show it. When the host is busy talking about his own bizarre experiences with the haunted dolls, the creepy dolls provide the best paranormal evidence right in front of the camera. They had all kinds of dolls that were haunted, that were supposedly haunted. Um, they had um, death masks. They actually had a um, the cap they would put. Not only are the creepy dolls caught on tape moving, which is scary enough, but if you look closely, you'll see one doll moves its eyes first. Its eyelids briefly twitch before the doll moves by itself. I also wanted to point out as a counterpoint that the dolls could be falling over because of how they were positioned. At 20 seconds, Kevin leans back and the other guest moves his laptop, so maybe they bumped the table and accidentally made it look like the dolls were haunted and moving on their own. Or maybe not. This creepy video is what happens when you go ghost hunting around Ireland's haunted woods of Newton Abbey. Abby. 
Kelly, did you hear the word amber? I don't hear anything, but I do see a strange mist has been caught on camera. Paranormal, I'd say, because it doesn't look like their breath. It happens twice, here at 26 seconds and again at 28 seconds. I hear they have a lot of foggy weather in Ireland, so maybe this is a small patch of fog they've caught on camera instead of a ghost. But let's face it, they get creeped out in a scary part of the woods known to be haunted, stop to record, and then capture some strange sightings on tape. So maybe this is a paranormal ghost video. A YouTuber named Lanzo has a haunted ranch that he is afraid to visit. He knows at least one of the buildings is haunted because his uncle told him about a full conversation that he had with a strange man who said that he was a demon and then promptly and mysteriously disappeared right in front of him on the spot. Ever since then, the one acre property has been overrun with paranormal activity. Just from now, from that day and now on, it's always been like creepy for me and my cousins to come here at night. I heard something that was scared. I... Do you guys hear that? Do you guys hear that? He hears scary whispering voices haunting the woods nearby and quickly shakes the thought away. But I think I might have heard the whispering voices too, followed by other scary noises that may or may not have been the wind. It's 3 a.m. and as they approach, they can feel the paranormal energy feeding off of their fear. Their equipment refuses to focus on one paranormal hotspot, and they know it's because a ghost is haunting them. Right there. What the f what the f you guys? And I'm gonna impact. Their night vision and motion tracking paranormal equipment detect a super tall figure standing in the same place they felt was haunted, and it's making the dogs bark like crazy too. The animals are familiar with Lanzo, so I think these pets are having a ghost sighting of their own. There's little figure right there. The dogs aren't even facing them, further evidence that something paranormal has their interest. Something's clearly back there. And even the horse seems to freak out as well. I feel sorry for all of the terrifying encounters that these poor animals probably have on a regular basis living on this haunted ranch. The horse begins moving frantically at 6 minutes and 58 seconds, and then they detect a ghost trying to climb some firewood to hitch a ride. The panicking animal sways back and forth to get away from the apparition, but to no avail. I don't know if this horse is freaking out over a ghost ghost sighting, or if it's just asking them for some food. This is a 3 a.m. video though, so I don't think the horse should be hungry. We noticed that there was a figure that was dancing with the horse like next to it. Like literally right there, you guys, like I'm getting the chills. I'm terrified right now. Behind this gate is where the dogs were barking at something, and that's when they get really scared because their paranormal equipment goes off again. I literally can't feel my feet, like. It's starting to detect something. Dude. They need to go around the building to see what's on the other side of the gate, but they hardly get a few steps before their camera goes out of focus. Over here. We're and in the woods, they hear a really weird voice, like laughter. When they consult their paranormal equipment for a translation, it interprets only one word. If there's anyone here with us, give us a sign. Goodbye. Oh my God, no. And it utters this phrase. A single ghost orb flies into them. I wouldn't be surprised if this ranch was haunted by skinwalkers after all. Skinwalkers are paranormal tricksters who will often haunt ranches built on ancient prairie lands. So with this in mind, a ghost sighting on this ranch would make sense. A YouTuber named Tim Wells is out bow hunting with his friends when a flock of geese appear directly overhead. One of them aims and takes fire without properly taking the angle of his shot into account. Oh, watch this arrow. This arrow's straight up. It's coming right for us. He shoots roughly 90 degrees into the air and you can actually hear the projectile cutting through the wind like a missile as it heads back towards their exact position. 
It somehow lands roughly 10 feet in the middle of all of them and they barely get away. Judging from the size of the arrow, there's no way any of them would have survived a direct hit. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.